Every now and then, the NBA seems to get their hands on a once-in-a-generation type of player that is drafted into the league. And more times rather than not, I think it's safe to say that this player is usually drafted to a team that is not currently in a winning situation. However, the case for this was seemingly flipped about two years ago as the New Orleans Pelicans landed the first overall pick in the 2019 draft, taking the once-in-a-generation type of player that we just mentioned previously, Zion Williamson. And when Zion Williamson was drafted to the New Orleans Pelicans, a lot of us sat there and thought this is a very interesting situation considering this is not a fully tanking team. However, that this is a team that already has some solid pieces around them, and with adding Zion, they could maybe already make some playoff noise within the first couple of years. But this, as we've seen already, is simply not the case. And it also seems like the New Orleans Pelicans have a very glaring issue right in front of their eyes that needs to be taken care of as soon as they possibly can. And this is what we are going to be getting into in today's video. As always, if you guys are regulars around here, you know I am more than excited to get into another video of mine and really just discuss some basketball with you guys but before we do i'm going to save you guys the time and effort if you are brand new to the channel and give you five seconds to go down below and subscribe If you guys have not done this yet, and you are as big of an NBA fan as I am, believe me, you are not going to regret hitting this button. As we are coming out with brand new NBA content around here on a daily basis, you guys covering pretty much any NBA topic you can possibly think of. So thank you so much, you guys, to each and every one of you that do this for me. Believe me, I appreciate it more than anything in the world. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Now, I personally think it's very safe to say when you are looking at the New Orleans Pelicans from a perspective of the top portion of their roster, should be doing some damage, or at least making a little bit of noise in terms of possibly making the playoffs this year. Again, as we mentioned previously, they have a rising superstar in Zion Williamson who is putting up averages this year already of 27 points, 7 rebounds, and 3.5 and assists per game. While I also should mention shooting a ridiculous 62% from the field overall. And along with the insane potential and future of Zion Williamson, the New Orleans Pelicans have under their belt for the foreseeable future. They have two additional pieces right after Zion of Brandon Ingram and Lonzo Ball, who along with Zion Williamson have shown major strides of improvement so far throughout the 2021 season. And for the most part, speaking as a neutral NBA fan and watching my fair share of Pelicans games so far this year, I think that Pelicans fans can agree with me when I say this, that this trio has been very dominant so far this season. As in an example of their game last night against the San Antonio Spurs as I am making this video, say this big three showed out together and put up a dominant performance would truly be an understatement. As the stat lines of these three players consisted of Zion Williamson having 33 points, 14 rebounds, 2 assists, along with Brandon Ingram putting up a stat line of 24 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. And to top it off, you have Lonzo Ball putting up a stat line of 24 points, 2 rebounds, and 4 assists. And you guys, when you look at the 3 stat lines of these players that they put up in this game against the Spurs, you gotta think to yourselves that, wow, this must have been a very dominant game for the New Orleans Pelicans. Well, you guys, I'm here to tell you right now, firsthand, that it wasn't, and in fact, they lost this game by 2 points. And you guys, I cannot stress it enough that this in itself is a major problem for this New Orleans Pelicans franchise. The fact that you have the top three players in your roster putting up stat lines like this all beside each other within the same exact game, and you are somehow not pulling a win away in this scenario. In fact, I would think that this team should be winning a game like this by at least 15 points with the performance that their big three put up. This is very, very bad. And this is the part about what I'm trying to get into, guys, is the fact that when you look at this New Orleans Pelicans team and the numbers that their big three or their top three players, I should say, are putting up, it is honestly kind common sense for any NBA fan to look at this and think that this team should be doing good and they should be making a playoff push along with this. But once again, despite the career seasons their big three are having so far this season, it is actually the opposite of what they are doing. As in the current time I am making this video, the New Orleans Pelicans sit at a 26-34 and record at 11th place in the Western Conference, four games out of the final spot for the play-in tournament. Which again, and it doesn't take a genius to point this out, is not good. And please don't get me wrong you guys, if you are a New Orleans Pelicans fan and you are watching Watching this video, believe me, I am not trying to bash this team in any way, shape, or form. I do try to stay away from making opinionated content, but when we're talking about how exciting it is to watch Zion, B.I., and Lonzo all out there on the court together at the same time, I can truly say that it is one of the more fun trios to watch in the entire league. But I think all of you New Orleans Pelicans fans watching out there, as well as neutral NBA fans, can agree with me on this, that this team needs a major change-up in the 2021 offseason. Because when you are watching everyone on this New Orleans Pelicans team out 
outside of their big three, I'm going to keep it as honest and as real as I possibly can. It's just honestly a weird group of players thrown in together. And again, I know it may be partially biased because this team has not been doing very well, and that's why I'm calling this combination of players weird. And it would definitely be a different story in this video if this team was seemingly doing good, maybe had a six or seven seed in the Western Conference, but this is not the case. In a sense, again, outside of looking at the big three of this team, the rest of this roster seems like something that you would throw together in a fantasy draft on NBA 2K. And it's really seemed to show on the basketball court so far this year as their chemistry has not really been on in terms of them winning basketball games, as again, you can see from their record. And with me pointing out that this team probably needs to do a major changeup and shift in the 2021 offseason, some of you are probably asking me right now in the comments or thinking to yourselves, all right, well, what do you think they need to do? And to be honest, I could probably sit here and try to think of a reasoning or an example of what they should do in this offseason, but simply put, I don't know. This is why I am not an NBA GM or coach, and this is why I am also sitting in my room right now making NBA commentary videos, is because this is what we like to do as NBA fans. And that is also why I make these videos, you guys. I truly do make these videos most of the time just to interact with you guys and talk some basketball with you. And this is another example of one of those videos. I think it's very obvious to most people that they do need to make a lot of changes this offseason. Some of them to start being getting some maybe experienced players on the roster, surrounding them with some decent shooters. I don't know. These are just some broad examples off of the jump. But I think it's very clear for the New Orleans front office and for many of the players on this roster that there's a good chance they might not be there next season. So with me making this video again, I'm really curious what you guys have to think about this situation. So please let me know in the comments down below what you think the New Orleans Pelicans need to do this offseason. Again, if this is making a trade, if this is signing some big name free agent players, please just let me know what you have to think about this and what they need to do in the comments. I'm really excited to hear what you guys think of this team situation. I don't know, this whole situation with the Pelicans, especially with what happened last night against the San Antonio Spurs, sparked this idea of a video for me and I wanted to get it out as soon as I possibly could. So if you guys did enjoy this video, again, please make sure to go down below, leave a like, and subscribe as well. Said it before and I will say it again, you guys, brand new NBA content on a daily basis covering pretty much anything you can think of. You don't want to miss out on what we got coming on the channel going forward, I can promise you guys that. But on that note, you guys, I just want to say once again, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you more than anything in the world. You all know this, I cannot say it enough. And I will see you guys in the next video.